What's your security badge number? Where's your security uh, badge? Nothing to do with you, buddy. Where's your security badge? It's supposed to be on display at all Let times. Know where it is. It's supposed to be on display at all it's times. Display, Six months in prison, mate. Go get the SIA down here then. What? Go get the SIA down here. No, 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 I'll just pass it to the police. No, 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 go get the police down. In fact, we can make you the police to come down. Go on then, go on then, go on then. No okay then, so as you can see, they don't really care about the law. As you heard, yeah, go and get the SIA down here. It doesn't care that it is against the law for him not to display his SIA badge. And there is actually a law in, in there. So when we get to that bit of the video, I'll put up the law and I'll explain. Well, I'll show you the law. And these don't really care. Now, like I said, he'll get the police. He'll get the police. Why? Because we hear hundreds of times in loads of videos, the police say, we're off to go and speak to our colleagues. Then go and speak to a security guard. We've seen it over and over and over again, so there's nothing new whatsoever when it comes to the police and private security acting as their colleagues. So the no, there's no consequences for his actions, so the laws that are in place to prevent him from acting like this is absolutely irrelevant because they never get upheld. Which, what's the point of having them? If they're irrelevant, they don't get upheld, so what's the point of having them? It's that simple. But let's just get straight into this video. Oh, people's going on here. Security on WXMIS. Yeah. Okay, well, if I want to ask you to come to the post office. Post office. That's a nice post Oh, yeah. Huh? It's my right to record. Oh, I was looking at the uh, camera. <laughs> These guys are jokers. Hey, where's he gone? Where's he gone? He's gone where? Look, look. This is not private property. He's recording, I'm recording. Yeah, but you don't understand I've got the right, right to that. Uh, you have the right to this? I don't think so. Oh, lordy, lordy. What do we have here? Afternoon, my good sir. Afternoon. What do I owe the pleasure? No, there's no pleasure, mate. I was just filming at that shop here, and then these started recording. Exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting. Is it worth your precious footages? Yeah, yeah. Open up. One, two, three, four, five, six people out just for camera. It's just a good company, that's what it is. What, do we get Smiths? Yeah, so she, okay, period. She's doing what's coming on. She either said she, she might be, or it's not my best angle, though. I have no, 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 I've got your angle. This guy's trying to film me, we can't see my face. <laughs> 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 I'm always ready. <laughs> What's your security badge number? Where's your security uh, badge? Nothing to do with you, buddy. Where's your security badge? It's supposed to be on display at all times. Know where it is. It's supposed to be on display at all it's times. Display, Six months in prison, mate. Okay. Go get the SIA down here then. What? Go get the SIA down here. No, 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 no. Just, I'll just pass it no, to the police. No, 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 no. Go get the police down. In fact, we can make you the police to come down. Go on then. Go, go on then. Go on then. No no I bet they don't turn up. Probably not, but you tell them, you thought them to turn up either. So, just as a hindsight, I don't have it either, sir. So. <laughs> okay then, so what law are they actually breaking? It is the Private Security Industries Act of 2001, Section 9, which clearly states, and it's subsection 1. I'm just going to let it read the whole thing out, but there's one little thing in this bit which is absolutely irrelevant, and then I'm going to jump over to a FOIA request which somebody had done, which outlines exactly what it is. So let's just get straight into this.
1. The power of the Secretary of State to prescribe the conditions on which a license must be granted and the power of the authority to impose additional conditions for such a license shall include power to prescribe or impose. A. E. Conditions containing requirements as to the training, registration and insurances which the licensee is to undergo or to maintain while the license remains in force. B. E. Conditions as to the manner in which the licensee is to carry out specified activities of a security operative that he is licensed to carry out. C. E. Conditions imposing obligations as to the production and display of the license. D. Conditions imposing obligations as to the information to be provided from time to time by the licensee to the authority, and E. Is such other conditions, whether or not relating to the criteria that would be applied by the authority in determining whether to grant the license, as the Secretary of State or the authority thinks fit. So, this is what gives them the ability to give licenses, and there is a condition in here to produce and display of the license. Pretty clear. Impose obligations as to the production, which there is. If you go into their policies, there is actually stuff in there which says they have to display their license when acting in the course of... Oh, no. When acting in a course of while using working as a security, they should have their license on display. So let's go over to... A FOIA request which was put in display of frontline SIA license. So somebody had requested, do I have to have my SIA license on display with the picture, name and SIA number showing? Or can I turn it around and have the back of it showing? And only show the sensitive information to the authorities to see the license. If a member of the public uh, request my full name, am I obligated under the law or code of conduct to produce the details? So this is a freedom of information and this is the reply. As I'm sure you are aware, it is a condition of your license status that you wear the license where the front can be seen at all times when engaging in designated licensable activity unless you have reported it lost or stolen, or it is in our possession. The exceptions to this are if you can demonstrate that the nature of that conduct on that occasion requires that you should not be immediately identifiable as someone engaging in such conduct. On such occasions you must carry your license on you and be able to produce it on request. This allows store detectives or close protection operatives to perform licensable activities without the need to be identifiable. This cannot apply to vehicle immobilizers. So, it clearly states that, as you are aware, it is a condition of your license statement that you wear the license where the front can be seen at all times when engaging in designated license activity, unless if you have reported it stolen or lost. Unless, or they can prove that it was a danger to themselves to not do that. So, there is things in place where they have to have it on display, and it is breaking the law. But they do not care, because it does not get upheld. Now, if they started upholding it, how many do you think would actually have it on display? I can guarantee every single one of them would, and follow the, their, their own codes of conduct down to the letter. Because if not, they'd get punished for it. It's just like a section 26. Never gets upheld, so nobody actually gives a toss about it. But there is a law what says they have to have it in place, and it would come under the Private Securities Act of 2001. But let's get back into the video. I'm not going to interrupt the video. I'm going to let the rest of it play out, as I've just made a, like a five-minute rant about the law. So let's just get back into this video. Yeah, but you need to be on display at all times, mate. That's just a it says in your policy. policy my good sir. Yeah, policy. It says six months in prison. Who was informing you, my good wannabe lawyer? Uh, me. Yeah. I read your laws. Yeah. According to the laws, you're not allowed to sell a salmon in a library. That's still a law. Sell what in the library? Mm -hmm. I just learned it today. Sell what in the library? Sell a salmon in the library. Yeah. No, I don't go to the libraries, don't I? I can just reach from here. Don't do fish volumes. 
Nothing to do. Nothing, it's just, a, just security getting paranoid again. Weirdos. How do you call me a weirdo? Bold out. Acting rather strange, sir. Just don't know what to make of it. No, I'm, I'm still waiting for the police. It's going to be a while. Yeah, yeah, telling me. Get the police, please get the police. You're an idiot, mate. Absolutely idiot. No badge on. Wow. Cheers, mate. You're a nice man. Oh my god, just a bunch of clowns really. I don't know why he's got nothing to be nervous about. Who's nervous? Customers get involved. What a horrible shop. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 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 hey, waiting for now. Some little clips. Let's have a look inside the shop. What a rip off in the Euro rate. What a waste of time. Free security. This must be the manager. You do realise you're out in public and you shouldn't be recording me. It's on my own safety in yours. Yeah, that's what I say. You never know. You never know. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, I wouldn't talk to you anyway, you're a bit of a weird. You say, yeah, cut, mate. Stop wasting public time. What? Oh, yeah, I don't want to be seen by people like you. No, you're not in there, mate, don't worry. Just put pony clowns. This security guard didn't seem to bother, do you? Guys are clowns. No one's coming, anyway. Okay, then, so. As you've seen, the law clearly states they have to have it, and he's like, that other guy's like, who's informing you wannabe lawyer? Not about wannabe lawyer, it's not hard to to uh, educate yourself on this sort of thing, and you should be more educated because it's a part of your training to become an SAA license holder. So you should ought to know that what you are doing is basically abusing your position of power, which again could be a part of a Section 26, 
which is up to 14 years, because he ought to know it should be on display, as he already said, it's a part of our policies. Yes, and that policy is backed up by law. So you are, you are knowingly breaking the law and ought to know that you are breaking the law and abusing your position by not putting it on display. So you are a fool. But all of this in this video is just my opinion. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video, it does open YouTube's algorithm. I'll catch you on the next one.